I'm so glad to welcome you back to Learning Skills with Julie. Thanks to everyone who have contributed to the growth of our channel. My name is Julie Carol Udogo. I hope you're doing great. Are you learning new skills in our channel? I would like to read your comments. My last video was all about how to make liquid soap with polyanionic cellulose pack R, and I hope you've tried my recipes. I would like to introduce you to my next video titled Introduction to Bath Soap with a Simple Soap Formula. My note of caution to everyone working with chemicals and powders is to put on appropriate personal protective equipment, including face masks and eye protection, while mixing powdered products. Always try to avoid skin contact and do not inhale dust or allow contact with eyes. It is advisable to wear personal protective equipment such as face masks, heavy duty hand gloves, goggles and protective coverings while mixing all chemicals. Bar soap is simply soap in solid form made with lye and other ingredients. In my bar soap, I make use of 8 recipes. Number 1 recipe is palm kernel oil which is extracted from the knot inside the palm fruit. It has a dirty brownish look. Palm kernel oil has cleaning values just like coconut oil and babasu oil. Number two recipe is lye, which is dissolved in water according to the percentage of lye solution you want to use for your soap. Lye water ratio is usually one in two for a 33% lye solution. Number three recipe is sodium silicate, which adds cleaning power to the bath soap. It will soften hot water to some extent depending on the amount used. It can crystallize out of the soap if excess is used in your bath soap. Number four recipe is foam booster. The most common alkyl sulfate are sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium lauryl ether sulfate. It is an inexpensive and effective former. Alkyl sulfates are anionic surfactants containing fatty acids that boost foam. It is also used in detergent to increase salt production and stabilize leather. Number five recipe is soap hardener. Some soaps are too soft after making and are not like the store bought ones. For this reason, many prefer to use 1 to 3% beeswax or sodium lactate or even salt to harden their bar soaps. Number six recipe is colorant, which adds beauty to the finished product. Fruit colors is not recommended because they tend to fit quickly. Number seven recipe is fragrance oil. Fragrance oils that is formulated to be used in soap is probably first safer. There is a variety of them. The best way you can differentiate one soap fragrance from the other, for instance, is using lemon color in your lemon fragrance soap, so that from the soap color you can guess the name of the fragrance. Number eight recipe is water, which acts as a solvent for the lye and other ingredients in the soap. Bar soap is quite easy to make, but difficult to calculate the lye water ratio. Downloading a soap lye calculator from Google Play Store will make it quite easier for you. And with the proper equipment and a basic understanding of how to make it, the sky will be your limit. I believe that our next video will walk you through your challenges as a beginner. Dear viewers, I want to thank you for all your inspirations, subscriptions, likes, dislikes, and comments. Bye everyone, I'll see you again soon.